The CI-22 Cricket is a lightweight ground attack fighter designed for close ground support against lightly armored hostiles. While it can be adapted for anti-aircraft operations, the Cricket lacks enough survivability to endure the open skies. While not as fast as a jet, the Cricket is ideal for hard flying at low altitudes, where it can slip in and out of canyons or hide along mountainsides. These flying characteristics give the Cricket impressive stealth capability, despite possessing no stealth technology. Skilled pilots can strike out at enemy camps, convoys, or radar stations, flying below radar level, and only emerging from cover to deploy its payload before diving back to safety. This tactic matters in nuclear option because radar occlusion, detection, and jamming is modeled in-game. Hostile radar needs an unbroken line of sight to track you, so the enemy remains unaware of your position on the map if no radar stations or aircraft can pick you up. Navigating like this takes time, practice, and knowledge of the terrain to get right, but remains a very rewarding strategy when it does work. This tactic is further emphasized by the Cricket's high landing resilience and very short runway capability. Sporting the equivalent of off-road suspension, it can safely land and take off on gravel, dirt, or even unprepared runways, meaning that only a helicopter needs less physical infrastructure to operate, though this versatility does come at a cost. The CI-22 Cricket is slow. While sturdy against light ordnance, it lacks the tonnage to withstand a direct missile or flak battery strike making the Cricket highly vulnerable to interceptors and jet fighters, as well as heavy AA of all types. It can defeat two, maybe three missiles using flares, but offers zero defense against radar-guided weapons or direct radar detection. If the Cricket gets pinged away from support, it's often too slow to reach help and can be easily eliminated. These attributes make the Cricket a poor choice for mixed squadrons or air defense, but a great one for ground escort and strike fighter roles. It works well alongside slower jet fighters like the Compass, freeing up these platforms to focus on their anti-fighter capabilities. In these situations, the Cricket can equip heavier AGM missile systems for longer range strikes on more powerful ground-based anti-air creating an excellent synergy where both craft can support each other. With the Cricket's more limited speed, it works best in vertical terrain, where it can use cover to block radar and shield against incoming missiles. This works great with its battery of mostly close-range weapons. It offers a lot of gun options, in addition to a long magazine of small AGMs. Guns are very ammunition efficient, but require time on target that exposes the Cricket to counterattack. Missiles are overkill against lighter ground vehicles, but require only seconds at greater distance to lock target and fire. This tends to be the safer option, as it limits the Cricket's exposure to counterattack, though the Cricket only carries enough missile ordnance to do this once or twice. Put short, the Cricket plays best as an ambush predator, but it's far from the top of the food chain. Lone wolves need to pick targets and plan wisely, while wolf packs can afford to be more bold. A large swarm of crickets can bring in enough firepower to overwhelm most defenses, though swarms are less subtle, and, if detected, can offer the enemy time to mount an effective counter strategy or retaliate against a retreating force that lacks the ordinance for an effective response. That's all I have for today. See you all soon.